everyone and welcome to Mars Talks. Again, we have very interesting guests and topics for you. We are here with Alena and Ahmed Bayram, who Thank are you. the owners of Property Turkey Istanbul. So, please, we would like to get to know you. Can you please introduce yourself? Okay. Hello, my Ladies name first. is Alena. <laughs> so, I'm working in the Property Turkey Istanbul. We opened it company together. Before um, I moved, I'm from Russia, so I moved from uh, Istanbul Homes, another company, to like we opened it another company. And we are working in real estate. Normally, I'm a psychologist, master of psychology, uh -huh. and but I travel to other countries and choose where I want to stay, where, where I want to live, because I'm from Siberia. It's like a bit cold country so i would like to choose another country what is can be good for me and i went different countries like india china italy vietnam like many countries and also istanbul uh -huh. turkey and i really like the country mentality weather everything so i decided to stay and to i mean to move and to stay here and mr ahmed how did you get into the industry actually like five years I have been in this sector. I've studied Arabic Turkish translating uh -huh. in university. And I was looking some job, you know, what to do. It's a bit difficult to find job in Turkey. And someone, uh, they found me in LinkedIn and they offered this sector. Even I didn't know anything mm -hmm. about this sector. And they said, you speak in Arabic and Turkish and it can work. Uh, let's work together, etc. And I just search and how is going in this sector. After I start with them, after that, uh, grow up and we met with Elena. We get married, by the way. And after that, we opened company. We work in uh, especially luxury properties mm -hmm. in Turkey. And you say you are selling luxury. What is luxury? It depends of the person. Mm -hmm. It's my opinion. Something can be for me luxury, but for you it's nothing. Mm -hmm. It also depends on the culture, depends on the nation. Mm -hmm. For example, what is luxury for French, what is luxury for uh, Libyan, mm -hmm. it's different. Mm -hmm. For me luxury, Bosphorus. Yes, a sea view, definitely. And Bosphorus properties is for me luxury. But for other people, they say, uh, I, I accept one bedroom property in Bosphorus. Mm -hmm. Then three plus one from Floria. But some countries from Arabs, they prefer three Bilal. plus one in Floria. True. What is luxury for Russian customers? Russian customers specifically, they love sea. Uh -huh. So sea should be everywhere. To go out from the property and come to the sea. From the window also you should see the sea. Mm -hmm. Everywhere should be the sea normally. I mean also there is different type of clients. So it's really individual. Uh -huh. But because we are uh, working and living in Istanbul, the most luxurious properties is in the Bosphorus. But also there is other different areas where yeah. you can suggest the most luxurious projects. Mm -hmm. I know that for Russian people, um, that they have a big thing for brands. Like they want to see brands and names. Exactly. Uh, is it also in the real estate industry like that? Yeah, exactly. We have several projects. They are really high uh, quality brands, really luxury and many clients they want. But it's not about um, nationality. Mm -hmm. It's European people, American, they prefer brands. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's about the level lifestyle, level of the life, let's say. So it depends on them mm -hmm. in the budget, of course. Who doesn't like? Luxury? Yeah. I don't know, there are like what we call today hipster people, they don't like luxury. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and I don't want that type of clients, by the way. I mean, our motto, like slogan, live luxury or, you know, just luxury. Okay, so then, but what is the indicator for luxury? How do you know uh, your customer or any person on the street uh, is a luxurious living person? Shoes. Shoes, of course, <laughs> yes. Watch. Watch. Yep. Someone doesn't use watch, someone use, but if use, you can understand directly. Uh, you like luxury or no? Okay. For Turkish clients, cars. Uh huh. Uh, when I met, we met directly with Turkish clients on the property, not office, etc. Uh -huh. 
when we go there i go before them okay and i'm waiting which type of car they come in uh -huh. if he has a driver or no true yeah they showing you uh, actually does he has money or not mm -hmm. and how is living life true and so if you have now the customer who is into luxury who's um uh, quite doing well. How should be your attitude? What's important in your gesture with this type of people? We should understand person firstly. So we should understand what they want and we should find something suitable for them. Mm -hmm. I mean, as a psychologist, I have another technique to work. So we are a bit different type. But in any case, in any uh, real estate company, real estate agent will try to understand what is important for the client. Uh -huh. For example, last week we had client there from Russia, so they not interested actually with the sea. They said we want green area. It's uh -huh. not important for us to see the sea. Yeah. But still, I mean, we was checking also seaside properties mm -hmm. because they're Russian and they actually like it, their uh -huh. um, seaside property. But from the beginning, the request was green area. Mm -hmm. So that's why, I mean, you should understand the client and you should show also different type of projects. So sometimes client is coming and he doesn't know what he wants actually. So you should show what we have and what he can choose, mm -hmm. what he like really. Um, that's quite interesting. So you as a psychologist, can you read people? <laughs> yeah, he's doing. <laughs> yes? Yeah. Are yeah. you using that? Because it's different type of people. So some people it's easy to understand for me. I mean, I'm not calling it reading people. Okay, yes. I have okay psychology knowledge, but I'm using it like as it's already, you know, because I have experience as a psychologist. Uh -huh. So it's already I'm using. I cannot to not use. Even with normal people when I'm speaking, of course, I mean, process is, algorithm is going, so I'm analyzing people, mm -hmm. of course. But there is different type of people. Some people is easy to understand. Mm -hmm. Some people need like several meetings to understand what is inside, you know, the person, what is exactly their motivation or mm -hmm. something. So true. And what do you think is important in how we are dressed and what we look like and how we behave? <laughs> the most important thing. Is it? Of course. What should we take care of? For me, I I respect for everybody, by the way, who is doing job. Yani it's not just real estate who is selling cars, for example, or something. I respect what they dress, but for me, it's most important thing. First met. Mm -hmm. If I go with Jean, I know he will not uh, respect me, he will not Trust. Think, yeah, he will not trust yes. me. I should give trust. Mm -hmm. I use colors. I don't dress, for example, brown suits. Why not? Of course, it's not trustable color. No? Of course. Okay. I'm, use I'm also not wearing brown, but it's blue. coincidence. Blue. Blue is perfect. Yeah, she know better than me, but I got also lessons something. Uh -huh. And my teachers showing us which colors affect you. For example, you go in interview, which is you don't use, never. Okay. Yeah. What should we never wear? Brown. Which color? Brown. No. This is so surprising. If you go okay. brown color suit to the interview, uh -huh. you will not get the job. 80%. Okay. It's a study. <laughs> I'm not saying, by the way. So when you also hire people and you make job interviews, are you yeah. taking care of that? Actually, what, what else? she's doing better than me. Uh -huh. uh, sometimes I cannot understand people uh, firstly, but she know, I mean, she doing very fast. But I look, for example, he came to me for interview, how he direct, how he respect mm -hmm. to our company, to the, our conversation. For example, when I meet with the client, I'm always like this, okay? And uh, even handshake, there is way. Yes. How to do, you know? Yes. And all these stuff we should use because they get decision what is the most important for their life. They buy a property. Yes. And not in their countries mostly, other foreign country. For example, he's from Italy, he's buying property in Turkey. And it's not cheap. 
Mm-hmm. It's it's for our clients. That is very true. Like our customers, they are trusting you about an amount of over two hundred fifty thousand US dollar. So at least they want to see someone proper. Of course. Also, what my opinion is is like when you value yourself, when you're taking care of yourself. Um, you're also capable to value your customers. Yeah. So first impression is very important in that. And when, when you hire people, like, okay, they come, they are good dressed. Um, what else do you take care of? Firstly, how they speaking, because it's one of the most important thing. For example, first contact, they will have by phone. I mean, it's really yeah. important how they will speak on mm -hmm. the phone. So that's why when they already speak in and introduce themselves, it's really important. So we will understand how they will, will speak with the client. Mm -hmm. So it's, I mean, it's really important, most important thing. Of, of course. course, dress, as Mr. Ahmed yeah. said, is also important. So we see how they already respect us. So how they came to the interview. When we had interview, like five uh, people was coming in the day and too much people was dressing normal. I mean, you're coming to the real estate, yes. you will work with the foreigners, and you're coming in with jeans. <laughs> it's impossible. How, who can work with the jeans? I, Where is the trust also yes. and respect? Can be, for example, as an economic situation for him, but everybody has a, some good stuff. A clean shirt. Yeah, yeah. Yes. yes. This is the thing. Yeah. Don't use jeans, for example, use commas. Yes. And be a bit, a bit classy. I mean, I, I got one lesson for that, like 2012. I applied for Turkish Airlines, uh -huh. okay, for cabin crew. And I, I was, in my mind, it was okay. I, I, I did, I was thinking in the exam, mm -hmm. you know, Arabic exam, they are hiring Arabic and I did, it was so easy. And for the interview, they called us, uh, but they didn't write in the mail, sweet and Thai. Okay. They said, okay, this day you should come for interview. I went interview, there was just 21 person, 21. Uh -huh. And for exam, 400, everybody delayed and 21 we are. And I was speaking better than all, by the way, I swear. And because we spoke in the room wh mm -hmm. while we waiting, no one doesn't speak Arabic. But... They, but what's <laughs> happened, uh, <laughs> I, I dressed jean. Okay. And one shirt, like I'm going Saturday night somewhere, you know? <laughs> it was cool for me. You thought so, yes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I will not forget that time. I entered for the living area. There is a uh, three person who they giving to us some points. And one woman, old woman, did like this. Uh -huh. Directly. Your gun. Directly did like this. I saw when I entered and this other guy asked me, hello, Mr. Ahmed. You go in some party. Oh, yeah. <laughs> very direct. Yeah, yeah direct. Uh -huh. It is Turkish Airlines, yeah. which is biggest airlines company ever I met, mm -hmm. for example. And he said, no, why? why? <laughs> 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 like, why? And he said, Ahmed, what is this? What is this? Yeah. <laughs> so where are you coming? Party or school or something? And after that, I said to myself, this is, it was a big mistake for you, Ahmed. And a life lesson. Yes. After that, I went Qatar Airways, for example, Sweet and Thai, till some level we mm -hmm. came. After that, they like, thanks God, they didn't <laughs> hire me, by the way. Many companies, they didn't hire me. Thanks God, I'm saying, always. <laughs> now, if not, are... you haven't been here today. Yes. yes. Do you like the hotel, by the way? Of course. <laughs> Have you been here before? Actually, mine once. Uh -huh. Just for, I mean, came here for the property and it's next to this building, there is one property. After that, we came here with an owner of property, drink something and left. Uh -huh. But uh, we didn't stay here. So you also have uh, second-hand properties yeah. in your portfolio. Yeah. Mostly where? Mostly Bosphorus. Uh -huh. Yeah, 
even here, for example. Yes, next yeah, door. Yeah, here, next door, located. <laughs> and Etiler, Bebek, mm -hmm. Nishantashi. And also top floors of the high class residences. Mm -hmm. uh, for example, Trump Towers. Our office also there. And Pent top houses. floor, penthouse, we selling. Mm -hmm. Or Safir, mm -hmm. many residences. And uh, some of Yalis. We are exclusive agent. Mm -hmm. There is a question mark about the citizenship by second hand. Can you apply for citizenship uh, when you purchase a second hand? What's Ye the rule there? Yeah, we can. Uh, like other evaluation report we need. Uh -huh. And But the second hand, there is some problems because of income tax. Ah. Uh, for example, owner bought property 2019. Uh -huh. Let's say 10 million Turkish liras. Okay. Yeah, it's Hi God. Let's say uh, 500,000 Turkish liras, okay? And today he wants to sell after two years. From 500,000 Turkish liras, they calculate how much you're selling? 1 million Turkish liras. Between 500 and 1 million, there is 500,000 Turkish liras. And for that, 22% income tax you should pay to the government as an owner. Oh. Okay? That's why a bit difficult but for high class there is no difference already when he bought already it, it was high mm -hmm. but this uh, type of uh, properties a bit difficult mm -hmm. in Maslak area it's so difficult to find second hand suitable for citizenship because for example Maslak 1453 2 plus 1 two years ago he bought 700 today he's selling 2.2 million 2.4 million but he's saying, Ahmed, I cannot show mm. on the title deed more than 1 million. If you want to show, you should pay tax. Yes. One time I sold, we paid 290,000 Turkish liras tax for the citizenship. Uh, that's why a bit difficult. So you also have, interestingly, a lot of clients from Europe, yeah. from the US. How comes and what are they looking for? What's different in that case? Can you go? Huh? Actually, same thing. Depends on the person. So, um, almost all of them, they want central location. So, it's our type of the client. So, mm -hmm. mostly, we are selling properties in the central business location close to the post forums. So, Zorlu Center, for example, they ask in Vari, Istanbul, uh, other like luxury properties, mostly they ask. Mm -hmm. But we are working also with these luxury properties. Yes. So, they're our type of the clients. Did you have any interesting client in the last time like that? Always we have it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> actually. Our lawyers say, Ahmed, when you will take one normal client? <laughs> <laughs> but this is the best thing about our job, I think. Like, we meet so many different people. I love it, by the yeah. way. Yes. Yeah, it's really beautiful. I mean, you meet too much people from everywhere with their own lives, and their own class. reasons. Yeah, high class. So they have some fabrics, some luxury business. Yeah. So it's really beautiful to meet like these mm -hmm. people. Are there any any clients of you that you still have contact with? Like you are also growing up a global network of yourself. Actually, with all clients after sale, uh, we always yeah. contact. I mean, uh, we go in even like vacation and check villa. Uh -huh. uh, we doing this. I have one, my client. I really like him, Mr. Yasin. He bought from Jer as well. Uh -huh. And he's French, okay? And Lebanese French or French no, French? No, actually, Tunisi, ah. but he doesn't speak Arabic. He, born, he was born in Champs-Élysées and he grew up in Champs-Élysées, uh -huh. okay? His, his office there, etc. His wife, Russian, Maria. And uh, our relation with him really close, okay? And what I say he doing? Mm -hmm. Uh, this one by this one by okay it's easy and one day came i took him from the hotel and said ahmed yeah why are we not going to bodrum okay and i said oh, yeah okay and we went some place and he took ticket tomorrow i, I called them directly alena tomorrow we go in bodrum with what with whom with mr yasin and maria let's brief yeah, we <laughs> went both room and uh, like this, even our one client in midnight, 12 o'clock, we was eating dessert in our home. Uh -huh. You have another bodrum story. Yeah. What's that? <laughs> <laughs> Big smiles, yes. Yeah. 
Yeah. What happened there? Alena's client, uh, and yeah, he's a different guy. <laughs> <laughs> he yeah. was normal. <laughs> yeah, he, but he's completely different. Okay. And he worked from Istanbul. We was sitting at office. He said, Ahmed, what do you have in Bodrum? Actually, he's not speaking English. He's saying Ahmed, ask Ahmed, Alena. And we showed something. There is one property like inside hotel concept, really luxury. He saw already before from our website. Uh -huh. He said, oh, it's good. It maybe can be after future. He said, okay. I said, after one year, maybe he will buy. After two days, we was speaking, Alena, let's go for the vacation two days and take some videos, pictures for the client. And I said, say to him also, maybe he will come. We go in by car, say. And he said, yeah, I, actually, I wanted to go there. And I wanted to say, okay, let's take him within 245, 250 kilometers. It's not good. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, but no, I, I didn't because it was, uh, I mean, forbidden to go out. We have permission huh? all. Okay. okay. And Saturday morning, we, uh, we was on the way. Okay. And he said, go fast. What he want, I'm doing. Okay. I'm giving this service. Okay? okay. And I'm asking, do you want something drink? Okay. Take drink, etc. It's small things, but it's good things. Uh -huh. uh, within like five, six hours, we've been in Bodrum. We stay there two days. Okay. We enjoy and we check all options and done. You have full service, huh? Yeah. <laughs> And this is really a kind of friendship. Why should they not trust you? Of course they will trust you. For example, I don't do this. Okay, my employee. Okay, go take him. We do this. No. For each client, I we are meet. Okay? Each client, we doing service. Yeah. He feel something good. He feel really, I mean, he deserve it. Yes. He... So I have a last question for you both. So you have high value clients. What are you expecting from the sales agents and the sales offices? Friendship actually also it's really important for the sales office person who is working in the sales office. We are coming, you know, with the client and they're taking our client. They're taking also some responsibility and uh, showing client the property. It's really important. So it's nice to have relationship with this person who we are giving our clients. Mm -hmm. I mean, for last sales, always I was coming to someone, uh, some exactly person who I know in the sales office, not just random one who I don't know. Mm -hmm. So client also see this, that we already have relationship. So we know each other, we know the first day working. Mm -hmm. So it's also giving trust. So that's why when I'm going, entering the project, uh, and see this salesperson and we have already relationship, how are you, so we are have some yeah. small conversation. Client already feel relaxed, so mm -hmm. we are not just coming empty, you know, some project, we don't know who they are, from where they came, so he's seen that project is already have some history. I mean, they selling properties and it's a um, huge company and it's uh, like growing up company. Mm -hmm. So there is trust and they will do all process professionally. So by this way, it's really important to have relationship with this person. So when you meeting them, when you even you can come to the breakfast uh, with this salesperson. I mean, we have several people with whom we are really close mm -hmm. and working. We are meeting each other very often. And it's keeping our relationship and it's uh, making both of us, both of our business working well. Absolutely. Uh, I, I care about how is he speaking now, how is she speaking mm -hmm. and how it looks. Uh, when I enter sales office with the client, if I don't know someone, I, I check directly and who is the good looks, uh -huh. clean, clean up. Okay, I choose that and speaking, it's important. Uh, actually, I think my problem, I don't like cheap things. Of course not, <laughs> of course not. I mean, yeah, looks, 
should be classy. Absolutely. So I said last, but I have one more last question. Uh, How is it to work as a married couple together? <laughs> Here you go. <laughs> It's very enjoyable sometimes. For example, you have to go uh, boardroom together, for example. Mm -hmm. But sometimes it's really stressful. I mean, because you always in the business, you always discussing th some things. I mean, but it's also very nice because, for example, if I'm not available, he's doing and I know he will do perfectly, mm -hmm. for example. <laughs> So it's really important. When I'm not here, he will do this job and I know it will be done. Mm -hmm. So it's like this trust. It's really good. Both, both, both of us, we doing for us. It's not like partner or it's, I'm not for he, her employee or she's mm -hmm. not employee. And both we are, uh, we doing 100%. Full powerful. That's why it's it's also affect companies grow up and uh, work together. We are two different person, by I the way. I see that, yes. Yeah, <laughs> in this sector. He, she's more classy. I am like, more emlakci, you know, esnaf. You know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's saying esnaf. Uh, I, I mean, I grew up in auto center in Bajilar. <laughs> we, sell, we sell cars and buy cars. My old relatives do in this sector. And I grew up there, like close for him, you know, mm -hmm. or for her. And she's other type. She's more professional and classy. Playing piano. I finished yeah. the school for piano for uh, seven she's years. Piano, doing piano, guitar, something. I don't have any. <laughs> like this thing. And we, for each type client, no problem. So you are fulfilling each other. Yeah. You have everything, both of you. What you are missing, she is having. What she's missing, you yeah. are having. That's perfect. Thank you so much for coming. It was a pleasure to meet you both and having right. here. Thank you for taking time. Thank you too. So, dear audience, thank you for watching. This was Mars Talks. Let's see what we have next week prepared for you. See you soon. Mm -hmm.